So a lot of people tend to say that the lights on the Julietta aren't very good. And to be fair, I've got to agree with them. However, I've seen a few posts on social media recently that's kind of making me just want to make sure that people are aware of this and hopefully this video is going to be a complete waste of time. With the lights off, when we look at the dashboard, we can just see what's going on. When I turn the lights on, we can see, obviously we get this kind of zero with the light angle showing. And obviously when we look ahead, there we go. And obviously when we look ahead, we can see exactly where the lights are shining on the garage door. You can see just over here, there's a marker on the right hand side. And if I adjust these, we can see that the lights go down. It's not very much because it's pretty close. But if that was looking up the road quite a distance, then that amount that is going up and down, if I just put them all the way back up again, then that's going to be a significant change in how far you're going to be seeing with the lights. So what's making that happen? Over here to the right of the dashboard, obviously, is where we've got our trip computer. And hopefully everyone knows about it. This is where we've got a light angle adjuster, obviously putting them down and putting them up. So the setting only goes from zero to three. So we've got one there, we can just see, or rather zero as it is at the moment. If I adjust it, it goes one, two, three. And that's just enough to make the lights go up and down. If I can hold the phone still, you can just see that marker on the right, see them going up and down. So what's the purpose of that? Obviously leveling. So if we had a heavy load in the boot, then obviously our light's gonna be shining way too far up in front of us. That's why we need to be able to adjust them. A lot of cars, Fords, Vauxhalls and stuff like that have kind of a, a switch further down just on the right hand side. But because our lights are obviously on the stalk next to the uh, indicator over here on the, on the left hand side, then we need to have a different location for where our adjusters are gonna go. So hopefully, if you're, like I say, on social media that I've seen recently, a few people that have had their lights set at number three, um, then they're not gonna be able to see very far up the road at all. So if you are suffering with lights that don't light the road up very far in front of you, just make sure, hopefully you know about it already and this video is a complete waste of time anyway, but just come out and obviously if you can, just change them with the up and down buttons as we can see. If I change it again, there we go, one, two, three, and then um, obviously with that, the lights are all the way down, which is where you don't wanna be. Put them all the way back up, just using the up button, and away we go. There we go, one to zero, and the lights go all the way up. So there we go, only a real quick one just for today. But hopefully, like I say, people are aware of that already. They know to use them just to change their light angles on the road in front of them. If you've got a three on your dashboard, or a two, or a one, obviously consider changing that if your lights aren't shining and they aren't very bright. It does make a difference, particularly on a dark night as it is at the moment, driving home from work or whatever it might be. So hopefully it's useful. If you have enjoyed it, remember to like I say, hit subscribe coming up here now. Give us a thumbs up down below if you would, really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much, all the best, cheers.